Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are starting a new series on generative AI and we are going to cover from basic concepts to building out any advanced level of LLM applications targeting new frameworks, agentic framework as well. So it's a zero to hero course. It's targeting for developers plus non-developers both. Even non-developers can learn how they can build out or roll out any AI applications. We'll be talking about the AI tools that is already there in the market so that it those can be used into day to day any professional life plus building out any enterprise level applications so in the course we are going to cover ai basics as a module one that includes a bit of touching on the ai basics what is the ai history and then we'll be talking about python basic that's a very minimal level of python programming so that we when we look at the course we should able to understand what we are doing in those code so not at the depth level, but at the basic level, we are going to touch the Python programming as well. And then we are going to talk about the AI models plus transformers and then GPTs. That is generative pre-trained transformers. And then in the bit of advanced model, we are going to talk about the models and architecture, Gen AI models, LLM models, and then encoders, GANs. We are going to talk about everything in detail. And lately, like lastly one, is building out LLM application we are going to by the end of this building LLM application module we would be able to capable of writing or building out any LLM application in a very effective way so we'll be covering that prompt engineering lang chain workflows rags we'll be talking about the agents how to build out agents with the agentic frameworks in place plus we are going to talk about MCP protocol plus this and also like uh, we'll be talking about model fine tuning so as I said, like we'll be starting with AI basics. So in today's session, we will be more focused on AI basics. We'll talk about like how AI evolved and then introduction to Python language. So first thing, why you want to learn AI and what advantage the AI is going to or what value add AI is going to add up to your professional life or your personal life also. So imagine you are a part of a company or organization and you are into a leadership role. And let's say like it's a buy online store where like you work or you are given a responsibility to think about the digital transformation using AI technology. So you see other companies using AI to automatically talk to customers, guess what products is the popular among other companies, among the customers and what personalization we can implement. So you must be thinking like how you can actually like ground or cater this requirement. So if this were you, where would you start? Would you use ML to figure out what customers like? DL, deep learning to spot online fraud or simple AI to automate the sending marketing emails or promotional emails. Keep that question in your mind. We'll get back those questions again. So by the end of this quick session, you would able to understand AI, ML and DL difference. You will understand how these tools works in the real time. And also you would understand that how these can be implemented as an into your organization. So let's start with the artificial intelligence. That's a broader topic. So think artificial intelligence as the umbrella. So it is just a fancy term for making computers smart enough to do the tasks we usually manually do so that they can do by themselves. As you can see, AI is their largest circle over here. And it's a part of computer science that particularly like focus on the data science part. And machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence. And then under machine learning, we have deep learning and the artificial neural network. So these two topics we are going to cover in the second module where we'll be taking a deep dive into the ML. So right now you can just park this thing, deep learning and artificial neural network for now. You can just think about artificial intelligence and machine learning as a broad topic. So we'll be taking an evolution of how AI evolved in these past five, six decades and now how AI is used in our daily life. So AI isn't a new thing. It has evolved over the decades and the journey is totally very fascinating. So machine learning era actually starts in 1950s somewhere. And from there, like we used to have this rule based data driven things at that time. So when I say rule based, think about like in simple terms that if and else spaces, like if the input is this, then the computer should do this operation or if the input is this then some other task so it was pretty straightforward decision making used to happen with those rules in era of 1950s 60s and then transition happened from rule based era to the early 90s and then 2000 where like the focus was 
more to like uh, decide machine itself decide the task which task to pick and based on the pre-trained data or the pre-provided data so it was a shift from rule based thing to let machine decides their own tasks and generate the output then in 2010s this era of deep learning came in where multi-layered neural networks enabled complex ai tasks like image generation or recognition or classification at the same time and then lately like in 2020s till now like we have seen a generative ai revolution which is going on and every day like we get a different sort of news like something new came to the market some improvement happened to the latest models where like uh, the ai is capable of generating tons of text images music code and everything whatever you think and this uh, the first chat can you imagine the first chatbot was built in 1960 and then some what we say like uh, that we call that ai winter came in like where 1970s 80s where much of the ai work did not happen and then it again picked from 1980s so now let's take a bit deeper look into individual artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning and of course like about generative ai so artificial intelligence what exactly is ai is the actually a brand ambition to make machines smart to give computers the ability to perform the task and that typically requires human thinking so think of tasks like understanding language solving complex problems, and making any predictions so whether it's your voice assistant like siri or any self-driving car that's all under the massive umbrella of ai so ai is the ultimate goal like is the destination of creating any intelligence machines or systems but how do we get there there's where like machine learning comes in so as we said like it's a subset of artificial intelligence so machine learning is most the common way of to build out the ai today and if ai is the brain then machine learning is the learning process for it instead programmer writing instead of programmer writing out a lot of millions of fixed rules what we do is we give the machine learning huge amount of data and it learns on the pattern by itself so imagine you want you want a machine to identify a cat so what are you going to do the old way was to program that okay give out all the details uh, the cat has a has paws cat has two ears all that stuff but the way of machine learning is very simple so the machine learning way is very simple you feed it thousands of pictures and label that as cat cat and those thousands of other pictures which you are going to label that as not cat so machine figures out the best features and mathematical relationship on its own and it learns from the experience the input you provide so based on the teaching mechanism we actually classify machine learning into three paradigms over here supervised learning unsupervised learning and semi-supervised learning or we can say like um, other one that is like uh, very popular recently that is reinforcement learning so supervised learning we give the computer label data as i said like we provide the picture and label that as cat then that's a label data so it learns from a teacher or the data provider that okay these kind of pictures are cat unsupervised learning is when no teacher is available no data data we are still providing the data but we are not labeling that data so we give data and tell it to find the hidden groups or patterns by its own for example real-time example that we want to group the customers based on frequent buyers or the discount shoppers or like buyer in a particular category so where like uh, this machine learning unsupervised learning comes into place and then we have third type that is reinforcement learning where the learning happens based on trial and error basis the machine gets a reward like if it uh, do any good actions and and also like pays the penalty if any bad actions happen so there's a way of reinforcement learning is majorly uh, used in this uh, self-driving cars like where we provide the good rewards to the machine whenever one good action happens or like it actually like follows all the rules of self-driving no accidents mat parking it properly all those rewards are given to machine learning so they understand okay for this action good points are being considered being credited that means like it's a good action and if machine if a car is parking wrong and met, meeting an accident or hitting an any obstruction that means it's a bad point so based on hit and trial trial and error the machine learns by themselves like uh, what is the most incentive way of like uh, learning or doing some action so again like ai learning to win a video game sort of like uh, that sort of scenario you can 
think of so that is more related to ml and then we get to the deep learning that is that uses neural networks inspired by the human brain structure so the power the true power of modern ai actually comes with this neural networks only so these networks are mathematical structures and which are modeled in a loosely just like the human brain whether each neuron is connected to another neurons and transmit the information so consider that as artificial neurons which carries the information which carries the data and then make the conclusions based on the hidden layer so over here in this picture you can see like we have this one layer that is input layer and we have this stacked layers the hidden layers which actually is a brain of any neural network and this is you can say eye and ears of neural network and this output is the response the speech of neural network you can say so input layer actually consists of the raw data and it receives the raw data like pixels of images or audio waves and the hidden layers these are the brain of the operation the data is processed and transformed here the deep learning network is just one that has many of his this hidden layers stacked as you can see like we have hidden layers over here which allow it to find a very subtle and abstract patterns and the output which it generates in our case like it's generating is taking the raw pixel of picture image and the cat image and then do the processing using the artificial neurons and then afterwards it generates the it identifies that okay it's a paw of cat or the print of dog so it predicts and it classifies so during the training the network makes guesses checks its error then adjusts all its internal connections that's why like these multiple stack hidden layers are there so it's getting smarter and more accurate with every piece of processing so we call that a epochs on every epoch like it getting more smarter it refines the variables again so that it can produce the predictive output so we'll get a bit deeper like in the next modules related to this machine learning and this deep learning so for today like we are just touching like we should be able to understand the differences between machine learning dl and then generative ai and the evolution as well and then we are in the era of generative ai that is post 2020s so is the is the most exciting frontier and we are more focused on this part in this entire course while most traditional machine learning predicts and classify the example i gave you is this a cat and what will the sales of be in the for the future months that's a real time example so generative ai is designed to create a new brand things so generate generative ai with a name itself you can say like it must be related to generating some new content so these powerful model learns the pattern structure style the data they are trained on and when you give it a prompt it uses those learned patterns to generate something completely original so examples of uh, generative ai which we see in day to day basis like a text based system that is chat gpt application that based on the gpt ll models then dali which is the image generation then again gemini view like which is again the image generation the models so you describe a scene a futuristic robot or a neon city it generates a unique image that has never existed before so it's original content which is being generated with the generative ai so generative ai shows the true potential of the deep neural network learning and moving ai from simple prediction to genuine creation or content creation so now uh, quickly touching how ai is transforming the business so it's more than a buzzword it's actually transformative force reshaping the industries and enhancing our daily lives so ai is transforming business in these three fundamental ways innovation new business models scalability and global reach and agility and faster decision making so first it drives innovation and new business model ai is just about doing the things faster it's about enabling the entire new ways of operating and creating value so think about recommendation engines powered by ai so created a new ways of companies like netflix and amazon to engage their customers in more personalized experience way so leading into new subscription models and buy habits so they can predict what their customers are liking so they can propose or show the same things to them so that the matching the customer experience matching can happen and along with that like it provides incredible scalability and global reach and what used to require vast human teams like earlier now is handled very efficiently with the ai handle systems so across different language cultures with consistent performance any solutions any applications are being delivered without having vast number of teams working on them so for instance you can think about like ai powered translation tools instantly bridging the communication gaps 
allowing business to operate more effectively across the borders. And the third one, which is agility and faster decision making, is a very crucial one. Because if we see in today's competitive world, if you are taking analyzing, if you are taking time to analyze the trends, doing the decision making process, then you'll be beaten up, beaten up by this uh, continuous competition from market. So that's where like uh, the AI can spot the trends, predict outcomes and highlight the opportunity faster than any human analysis can do. So it gives the companies a significant edge over other competitors. This allows organization to adapt rapidly and do whatever the risk mitigation they want to do for their any, this, any business model. So continuing on this AI transformation benefits, just want to highlight this quick one that relates to our day to day thing, day to day applications. So automation and efficiency. Yes, AI takes over all the repetitive and time consuming tasks and freeing up the human workers to do more creative work. Enhanced decision making. So it's, it's no longer a guesswork. So based on the data provided, the data driven, the decision, the actual decisions are made up by these AI systems. AI can process the complex information to provide more informed recommendations plus the decisions. Personalization, of course, like this is a huge one as AI can tailor experience, content and product individual per individual preferences and making service feel custom made for each other. And of course, like improved accuracy, AI models, especially in the era of fraud detection and medical diagnostic can often achieve accuracy level that surpass human capabilities and reducing the errors and availability and cost saving of course like by optimizing the process reducing waste automating the stuffs ai can lead to a reductions in operational cost and improving the organization's bottom line finally the enhanced security ai is emerging as a very crucial tool in cyber security detecting uh, anomalies identifying threats preventing attacks in real time so this, these are few benefits of ai totality like ai is just not the technology advancement it's a strategic asset that fuels innovation expand global research and provide a crucial competitive advantage that's why we wanted to target this course we want to learn ai from basic to advanced so that we can contribute with the organizational growth with the day-to-day -day rapid evolving world of ai and to cope up with our jobs also so now with this in the next part we are going to start the python basics so i'll be touching the high level of python concepts so that in our future modules or future sections when we talk about some coding ml code or generative codes then we should be at least understanding those lines what we are talking about like it's not in depth we want because every syntax needs not to be remembered because in today's world we have all the applications pipe coding all the coding assistant are there but we have to understand we should understand what we want to achieve with those coding assistants right so that's where like we are going to touch high level basics of python and then we'll move to our actual course content